Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Teamster and in this video I'm gonna show you how to make your device regenerate nonce using the generator method. For this to work you need uh, a jailbreak. And yeah, my setup right here is my iPhone 6 on iOS 9.1 and I'm using my Mac. Um, the tools will be also available for Linux so you can do basically the same on Linux. So a little disclaimer, for this to work you do need to have a jailbreak and this jailbreak needs to have um, task for pit 0 or task for pit 0 functionality and um, iOS 9.1 is the only jailbreak I know of that uh, has this functionality. Um, as far as I know iOS 9.0 doesn't have it, iOS 9.3 jailbreak doesn't have it, so um, iOS 9.1 is at the moment of making the video the only jailbreak I know of who has the task for pit 0 functionality, so that means either task for pit 0 is enabled or what Pangu did in this uh, jailbreak is they made a workaround host get special port which basically has the same functionality and this allows us to do kernel uh, patches which is required for this method. So if you have a jailbreak which does not have task for pit 0 functionality um, you can't use this method. What you could do is ask the jailbreak developers like the Pango team to add task for pit 0 or what they did in iOS 9.1 host get special port um, because otherwise kernel patching is not possible. Okay, for iOS 9.1 jailbreak it is possible, so let's get started. I have here, um, you see, Cydia open and the first thing you need to do is to install OpenSSH. I installed OpenSSH already, so uh, I'm good to go here. Now we can switch to the computer. And here I have all the tools. Nonce enabler, this is the binary who does the kernel patching on the device. This we're gonna push to the device and execute. This is the uh, SHSH uh, blob I'm gonna use. Um, then I have IMG4 tool, this is optional, you can use it for checking um, what nonce is inside here. And future restore, um, this is also optional, this for checking um, if the device does have the requested nonce. Um, you can also do this with uh, iRecovery. So um, you see um, the SHSH thing has .SHSH2. This is basically a new file format introduced with the uh, latest version of TSS Checker. Um, so I can show you what's inside here. Uh, just rename this to plist. Okay, so open up. And yeah, so this is what an SSH, uh, SHSH blob or better said AV ticket looks like. We have the server version and the IP ticket. This should be uh, definitely there. Basement ticket and basement firmware is basically the basement blobs. We don't really need this. If it's not there, it's totally fine. The important thing for this video is the generator. This is new. Um, this is what I introduced with TSS Checker. You need to know the generator of a specific nonce. Um, to be able to regenerate it. So the latest version of TSS Checker does save the generator, then generates a nonce and requests a nonce, so it also have the generator in this file. Um, if you don't have it here, or you don't know the generator of a specific nonce at all, you can't really use this method. In case you um, requested um, tickets f for the nonces I put on my blog, um, you're good because I have the generators, I will publish them on my blog and I will also put the nonces and the matching generators in the video description so if you requested a um, ticket for one of those nonces just use the generator, the matching generator in the video description and you're good. So we need this generator, um, we need this actually later so we can close this for now. Uh, what I'm going to do is open up a terminal in this directory and we're here, uh, ls. So um, this is optional with IMG4 tool, you can check what nonce uh, is inside the ticket. And you can see here, this is basically the nonce we need to, uh, we need to generate with the device. So the device needs to have this nonce to be able to use this uh, blob for future restore or for a Prometheus method. And yeah, so 
what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move um, nonce enabler to the phone. First we're gonna SSH to the phone, um, SSH root at and then the IP address of the phone. I know the uh, IP address of my phone. If you don't know it, you can check in Wi-Fi settings. So my IP address is uh, this. I can just SSH and I'm here. So name. This is just some information. You don't actually have to type this command. So you can see um, I'm using iOS 9.1 on my phone. And I'm gonna make a new tab, and we need to push the uh, nonce enabler binary. So uh, scp nonce enabler, and then root at, and then the IP of my phone, and the two dots at the end. Don't forget that. And it's pushed. If it asks you for a password, the password, uh, the default password is Alpine. I set up um, SSH key authentication, so I don't need to have. I don't need to type in the password. If it asks for a password, this is the default password. Um, okay. So what we're going to do here is we can check NVRAM. NVRAM minus minus p. This is the NVRAM variables. And what we need to do is set a specific variable. But to be able to um, write to that, we need uh, to patch the kernel first. And all we have to do is execute dot slash nonce enabler. Um, can you actually see this? I put the terminal a little bit up. OK. So dot slash nonce enabler. And it does some patching and hopefully it does uh, done patching and doesn't crash. Um, it's really badly written in my opinion. I did a really bad job writing this. I might fix it up, but uh, it works. So I'm just using it. If we check nvram minus p, um, there's nothing uh, new because we don't have a nonce at the moment, but we're gonna set a new variable with nvram and then we're gonna copy this thing. Or we can just type the dim com dot apple dot system dot boot minus nonce. Um, I think equals. And now we need the generator. And for this, I'm gonna open up this again. Open up the generator. Copy this and paste it. Okay, I hope this is correct. Okay, we can check this with nvram minus p. And yeah, the variable is successfully set. Um, again, you can't just simply set the variable for this to work. You need to run nonce enabler. And for nonce enabler to work, you need to have a jailbreak with task for Bazeri functionality because it actually does some kernel patching. Now we have successfully set the uh, boot nonce. Now what we could do is we could um, set auto boot to false uh, and vram auto boot equals false. And let's recheck that. Okay, auto boot is false and we just reboot. And what this will do is put our device in um, recovery mode. Um, this I can close up. We don't need this anymore. And you can see the device is in recovery now. Um, we can use iRecovery to check this. Um, this is again optional. And uh, let's see, hopefully this works. Um, future restore minus T minus W. Um, no, wait. Uh, iPhone minus W. Okay, so what this does is um, it requests future restore to um, reboot the device until we actually have the nonce which is inside here, which is actually bad. But since the device should already have the correct nonce, it should do nothing but print out the nonce. Uh, let's see. Okay, so what we can see here, um, oh, the thing crashed. I'm gonna fix this, so don't worry. Uh, we'll fix this. And yeah, so what you can see here is waiting for nonce. This is the nonce we've seen inside the ticket and got AP nonce from device. And this is exactly the same nonce. And if we 
remember IMG4 tool told us the same. Basically, this is the nonce we want to have. And the device is right now in recovery and technically you could now um, do uh, the Prometheus, uh, the downgrade using the Prometheus method. You could use Future Restore um, to see how exactly the downgrade with Future Restore works. Um, you should check out the other video. We'll link us in the video description. So if you need to use the generator method, put your device into recovery using um, the steps I just showed you in this video and then continue with the uh, other video to actually downgrade the device. So um, in case you do not want to downgrade, so you will just want to boot your phone normally again, which I want here. Um, you need iRecovery, I don't ship the iRecovery binary, you need to get it from the internet somewhere. So iRecovery minus S, then you can set environment auto boot true, save and reset. And again, you don't want to do the last step if you're gonna downgrade. Um, I personally don't want to downgrade right now, so uh, I just boot the phone normally. And yeah, that's about it. If you have questions, um, ask in the comment section. And I hope you enjoyed. See you.